Welcome to this new video. Today, we'll be discovering the Bitcoin. Unless you've been living in a cave for the past few years, like hell, you have necessarily heard of Bitcoin. You may have heard that it was a climate disaster, that it is used by terrorists and drug traffickers to purchase illegal goods or services on the dark web in total impunity, or that it is the ultimate shield against evil capitalists. Finally, you may have heard of it as a financial or technological revolution. Hundreds hours are needed to explain Bitcoin in detail. So there will be several videos to tackle its various aspects. As usual, purpose is that you become able to make your own opinion on what Bitcoin is today, and what it could or not become in the future. Eventually, there will be 21 million Bitcoins. Today, nearly 19 million have been produced. The process is actually called mining. Mining the remaining 2 million bitcoins will complete it nearly by year 2140. Exactly 21 million. Not more, not less. To grasp this, see bitcoin as a land. A digital land saved on the cloud. Consider one bitcoin as one meter square of that land. We already know that this land will be 21 million meters square at end of the mining process. To use your bitcoins, or those parcels of the digital land, you need your private key. There are two kinds of keys. A private key and a public key. Your private key is in a way the password allowing you to use your bitcoins on the network. A private key is a random number of 256 bits. That's a number made of 256 zeros and ones. It is such a large and complex number that it's really difficult to actually apprehend it. What you need to know is that there are more private keys in Bitcoin than atoms in the universe. So don't worry your private key will be unique. Your private key is directly saved and kept in your electronic wallet. You will need it whenever you wish to make a transaction to kind of sign the said transaction. An electronic wallet is used to keep this private key. The electronic wallet can be either a simple software installed on your computer or a small accessory that looks most of the times like a flash drive. Your private key will be generated randomly when you will use your e-wallet for the first time. To understand how this works, see our friend Yule, here. Imagine that Yule has arrived in a new city and he can randomly get any mailbox. Once Yule has made his choice, all he's got to do is pick up the key that is hanging on the mailbox and put it in his pocket. That key is the private key generated by his e-wallet when used for the first time. And the address that appears on the mailbox is Yule's public key. Anyone knowing Yule's public key can send him bitcoins to this mailbox. But Yule is the only one who could open the mailbox. Yule be alright owns a clothing factory. He realized that his production costs had significantly increased recently due to poor condition of the equipment. Thus, Yul has hired Screwit Handyman Services to perform a maintenance of his equipment. The agreed amount of the transaction is 3 bitcoins. For this transaction, you'll use the public key of Screwit Handyman Services but sign the transaction with his private key. Screw it Handyman Services hired Carol for an amount of 2 bitcoins to perform the works at Yule's factory. You'll be alright got his operation back on track. Before those two transactions, you'll use to own 4 bitcoins. Amongst those 4 bitcoins, Yule has sent 3 to Screw it Handyman Services, who have then transferred 2 of those to Carol. In those transactions, two points are significant and new to us. First point is that no intermediate entity whatsoever has been involved in those transaction. No bank, no Northern Union, or any other entity. No one to block or prevent those transaction from being executed. Second point is that no Bitcoin whatsoever has actually moved. You could compare this to a deed. It is only the ownership of the deed that has passed from one to another. That's all for today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have questions, or comments, feedback would be welcome. And don't forget.
If you like the videos, subscribe, share them and thumb up to help me develop this channel. And see you soon, with new videos.